Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we made it here to a very strange version of a hotel which we got to through Eddie's professional office. Very strange. But we're following this red string here. So, um, ooh, what's this? Okay. We need to continue to follow it. And I have a feeling it's going to involve going outside and potentially um, death. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Ah. Do you suppose we could maybe... 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 Use the shotgun. Could we get that from here? Oh god, Eddie. Jesus, be careful. I kind of want to, like, try this. Just to see if we can do it. Okay, that's dead. That, that, that worked. Um. Okay, let's reload this. Just take two shots, though. That's kind of... Ooh, okay, so, okay. Let's, let's, let's. Just proceed this caution. Carefully and quietly go down the ladder. Alright, so, are we still... Oh, now we are, look, hey. Okay, okay. Oh, it's just a, just a, a weapon. I think the pipe would probably be the, the better of the two options, would it not? Um, okay, we need to just be very careful. Can we go round this way? Yep, yeah. yeah. okay, let's just... just whoa. Alright, okay. Oh, good god. Okay, okay, okay. Where's, where's, where are they going? That way, apparently. Okay. Can we? Oh. Right, we need to be a bit careful here. Okay, can we? Can we? Is it this way? Oh, this is not nice. Okay. Is it? I don't know if it's this way, but let's just, just, just. Okay, Eddie, she's leaving. <laughs> Okay, there's yeah. That's clearly a trap. So let's not go. You can't go that way. Shh, Eddie, my God, you're looking to get bloody killed. Okay, do you know what? Whatever's in there is not necessary to our success. So let's just leave it behind, shall we? Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Fire poker. <gasps> yeah, let's let's have that instead. I think a fire poker will probably do a little bit more. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, Jesus! Please go. Please go, dude. Please go. Oh my god. I don't like this. Ah. Okay. Get 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 up on the wall. Okay. Okay. So there's one there. This one's coming. Okay. We need to just. We need to just 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 just. Oh, okay. Okay. <gasps> All right. Oh hell! <laughs> Stupid thing! Oh, Piss it! All right. Well, screw it. Let's get in. Can they get in here? Can we? Can we do something with this? There you go. <sighs> well, not exactly ideal, but you know what? Fine. Let's just, just, just. What's this? Is this something? Bullets? What's that arrow about? That seems a bit weird. Okay. Can we drive this? Oh wait. Okay. We're hidden again. I think. I think we're good. All right. Let's just, just, just be careful. 
Oh, something else. What's this? Ring, ring a bell. Ring a bloody bell. I'm crying out loud. I'm assuming we have to go in there, but maybe we, maybe we don't. Can we go in here? Oh, hey, we can. So, are we supposed to go that way? I kind of, I kind of want to know. All right, yeah, I think we're all right here. A candlestick. I mean, yeah. All right. It's a it's a weapon. It's a form of weapon. Yeah, we need to go in there, obviously. <sighs> My God. All right. Let's go up here. Okay. Let's just be careful. We look ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Candlestick in hand. Good grief. The Hotel St George. over that way. Let's just... Can we, can we, can we stand up here? All oh, right, what's this? What? Oh, Eddie. You crashed because you were drunk driving. On my way to the hotel, the Morgan gang caught up with me. Oh. I owed them money. A lot of them. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out and I sent the others packing. Oh, oh, okay. Jesus. Are they dead? Did we kill them? Let's just reload. Did we do it? <sighs> oh my god, we did. Jesus. Alright, alright. What 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 do we have here? What's this? Bullets, yep, yeah. bullets, 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 bullets. Can I not? No, can I not? Oh, machine gun's full. Um reload it. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. Right. So, assumedly, okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Destroyed our our candlestick, but do you know what? Do you know what? I think we need to go to the hotel, don't we? But I just I don't know. I just want to have a little look around, just to be sure we've got everything. Good grief! I think we have, by the looks of it. <sighs> Jeez, we need to just 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 be careful here. Okay. Anything in there? No, just rubbish. Crash. Nothing over here. Daily bulletin. We're closed. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Bullets, bullets. We'll always take bullets. Thank you. Nothing. Another bell. It's a bell. There you go. I don't think we can open these. Though I reckon we'll probably be going round there at some point by the looks of it. Okay. Here we go, Eddie. Is that us? Okay. What's this? Curious napkin. Oh, okay. Anything else in here? Help. 
What's this ledger? Hotel bill. Key item. Oh, okay. So, hotel bill dated December 21st to 25th, 1928. Single room, 1025. Dinner, 150. Telegram, 25 cents. Wow. <sighs> Just shows how, how cheap things were. So, this is set back in, like, the 20s or something. Okay, bullets. Always take bullets. Always, always take the bullets. Anything in here? More bullets? All right. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. Ted Stryker? Like it was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and oh, hurried yeah. up to his room. The dude. I remember now. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Mm. Feels vaguely familiar. Sorry, I was just having a little sip of my drink while we were listening to Eddie's observations. All right, let's. You don't suppose that Eddie is actually Ted Stryker, do you? Drink that. Have a drink. Top up your health. You'll feel better. Trust me. Ugh, rats. 201. Can't go in there. Okay, all right. Why is the wall crumbling? Good God, look at this place. Jeez, is there anything at the end here? No. Always worth checking, always worth checking. Okay, so... 301. Okay. What's this? Business card, key item, okay. David Thornhill's business card. David Thornhill, 3rd Avenue, West New Orleans, number 705. Fine Art Gallery. Okay. I recognise this room, yeah. but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? What's this? Telephone directory. Ooh, here we go. DeWitt Boarding School. Tallahassee, Florida. DeWitt Boarding School. Okay. Telephone directory. Torn page. A uh, page torn from a telephone directory of businesses. All right, door. Calm down. What's this? Hotel bill, business card, telephone directory. The business card. Hotel bill. No, wait, the, the telephone directory? Yeah. So we went from New Orleans to Tallahassee? Okay, um... Oh no, no. Let's swap these two round. What? Oh, hold on. DeWitt, contact Mrs. Robin, £300 a year, excuse me, £300, good grief. $350 for the King Sport painting. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. So we need to go to the Pearl River Bridge then, I'm assuming. Just assuming here. Let's, let's, let's just have a look at our objectives, just to be Detective sure. Detective Comby didn't recognize the bridge across Pearl River. It was firmly obfuscated by trauma. Events that had left Combe scarred for life. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's curious, isn't it? So we didn't catch up to the the kidnapper, but we. What? Okay. What? Pearl what? River. Oh. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark the man bridge? wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Yeah, what are you forgetting? There must be something here. Any, you know, anything of any use, any interest, any anything? So we can go that way. I think that's the only way we can go. By the looks of it. Is this, is this an actual, is this still the room? Oh. Is it still the same room? Oh yeah. It's not changed. Okay. 
let's just um, evaluate our weaponry. Yes, we're all right here. I've just got a feeling, you know, these swamps, they are not friendly places. Okay, so is this, oh, take the, the little hatchet. Oh, do I, do I, do I have a, a weapon? Ah, okay. Hmm. I don't like this, you know. I feel like something's gonna, gonna just jump out the shadows at me. Creaky old bridge. Good grief. Anything in here? For us? No. Okay. So we can go across that way or this way. Or well, what's this way? Ah, this is the bridge. Okay. Well, let's let's go down then, because the bridge is where we want to go. So what's across this way? It's kind of looking like a whole heap of nothing, but... Oh no, here we go. Okay, and what's this? Profane totem. Another line up. Brilliant. Alright, alright, where, where... Oh my god! Alright. Let's reload Eddie. Ugh. What I mean, what are these things? They're like bodies that are covered in vines. It's really weird. Ugh. And gross. Stinky. Ugh. Don't like it. Alright, well I'm glad we, we went and checked anyway. Because um well We want to collect all the lanyaps. If we can. I'm guessing we can't go this way. Just seeing if there's anything else. We can't go that way. Alright, alright. Okay. So. We can't go up. Because the stairs are busted. Lots of crows. I don't like that. Oh no. It was her all along. What? The. The. the oh. Oh! Was she the child that got kidnapped? Kidnapped her, excuse me. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening, I can't. I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? Oh, Jiminy Christmas, really? What, 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 what do we do? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. Oh, are they in the, in the, in the car? I to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. So, so... There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. Okay. 
I mean, I don't know whether we're going to be able to do this in time, you know. Let's just, just have a little peep here. I mean, not while I'm having a little peep. Because obviously... What's down there? Is that maybe the faster way back to the house? I don't know. Let's go up. Okay, okay. Might as well. Is there a way to... This must be where the bridge is operated. Yeah, probably. Okay. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, all right, all right. That's a, that's a, that's a tentacle. Why is there a tentacle? Okay, there's another tentacle. Okay, there's more of them. How do I, how do I? Do I need to... These or something? Okay. Ouch! God bless it! Ready. Okay. Good God. I mean, can we, can we hit this thing? No? Ugh. Okay. Well. This is, okay. Okay, all right. There we go. We should be able to pilot the boat. Okay, why? All right. Oh, 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 all right. I don't like this, God bless it. Where did she go? I really hope she didn't jump. I don't think she'll have jumped, Eddie, to be honest. Grace is a kid. But, I mean, I don't think she's really a kid. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's just get the shotty out. All right. Okay. Okay, so what? Oh, okay. Pistol bullets. Brilliant. Else here now. All right, let's go and get the boat. Okay, get this boat. this been doing what's going on here look at this mess oh god I, I, i'm sorry mrs thompson don't make me kick you out of this house now get out <sighs> hey detective mr carnby i'm really worried about you i'm okay i just need to catch my breath for a moment <sighs> 
What? This place? It's... There are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. No, neither do I. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily? Don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Good God, look at the state of Eddie. <sighs> That's locked. Damn it. Pay Dr. Gray a visit in his department. His apartment, excuse me. That's locked. She's in there, isn't she? The old crone. All right. Conby had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. <sighs> Damn. Okay, so leave an offering at the Whispering Tree and pay Dr. Gravis in his apartment. Well, do you know what? Let's go to that whispering tree. I wonder if we have anything worthy of offering. Okay, we've got another note. Have we? Oh no, okay, fine. This this place is weird, man. Look at it. It's just all gone suddenly grey and weird. Have we been in here? I don't think we have, have we? Oh, I don't like... Okay, I don't like that. No. No, don't like that. Can we open this? God bless it. No key. All right. Well. Ah. So we're on the right side of the building, at least. Could we get down to the tree now? Before we go there? Just, just as out of sheer curiosity. It's blocked. Emily didn't understand what was happening. It was funny when all the blood started coming. What? What? All right, we need. Let's go to the whispering tree. Come on. There it is. I assume this is what, what the Whispering Tree is. But what can we offer it? And how do we offer it? Here. Okay. What is it? What do you want? Don't worry. I'll remember. What? You should have. She will call you when it's time. Do not ignore her. Okay. All right. So we've got to listen out for somebody calling for us. All right. Well, let's go and see Dr. Gray now. And, um, yeah. She will call you. Don't So don't ignore her. Okay. All right. Oh, so Emily's there. Detective, am I glad to see you? Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us sniffing around. No, probably not. What's going on here? This feels so strange. Mm. Okay. What? What's this? False book? False book? It's a hollow book. Can we open it? Can we can we do anything with it? No. Okay. So Assumedly, that's got to go there. Oh. Is there anything else that we can have a look at? Or is this it? Okay. 
There's a book missing. There you go. Put the false book in. What does that do? <gasps> Emily! What do you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on. Let's check it out. Well, yeah, all right. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. What is this on the floor? Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the, um... The... What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the Black Goat of the Woods with a Thousand Young, or Shubnigroth. Oh my god. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Very, um, what would you call it? First meeting transcript. Hello. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Cerro, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. One? John? Who's John? No, Juan Luis Jorge. Oh, wait there a moment. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the author. It's a magnificent book. Life-changing, even. The real Juan is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. Here's the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Hartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. And with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time. In time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons. All the dark men. Yeah! Please, Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Hmm. Very strange. <laughs> that mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? Yes. All right, let's... Oh, locked closet. Hmm. Is there a key here somewhere? Ah, what's this? The snake dagger. Hello. The snake dagger. A monograph by Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vachy, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. Oh. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text. That it would be more appropriate with Worm Dagger from the Latin Vermis Cultrum. 
This seems natural, following the recent consensus that the original title of Prin's book, De Vermis Mysteris, should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prin certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Reading through Vahi's correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning, only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy, that it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind, if they had the good luck to survive. Hmm. Eye of the possessed, eh? Okay, so I'm guessing we need to find a key here. <sighs> hmm. Have you got any keys here, madam? Oh, maybe maybe through this other route. Can we yep. Yeah. No. Here? Ah. Ah, here we go. What's this? Huh. Has that been there this whole time? Furniture key. That's got a fancy key. Okay. Alright. Anything else in here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. So, guessing we need to go in here. Furniture key. Uh, okay. Answer the phone. Wait, she calls. When she calls, you answer. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Is it in here? Eddie, answer the phone, please. Hello? Detective Convy? Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the Dark Man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Well, uh, hmm. Okay, all right. What's this? Come on. What's going on here? Uh, 
Okay, I, I... Hmm. Does the the symbol in the room have anything to do with it that we saw? Let's just have a look. So, assuming this is the clock. So, the outer disc is at the top. Wait. Okay. Let's, um... Can I... Yep, there you go. I don't know why it's suddenly gone to this kind of very Resident Evil-esque um, perspective. What's this? Toy Talisman? Oh, okay. Another lanyard. Nice. Brilliant. Okay. Is there anything else here? Okay, let's let's just um, out of sheer sheer. Um, Wait a minute, I've just I've just spotted it there. That goes there. That one goes there, and then that one goes like that. There you go. Hey. Something in the chest. Okay. Can't be, let's go. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. Yep. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Okay. Let's, let's, let's... Okay, Ms. how Hartwood, did... Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Yep. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Okay, did, yeah. Are you going inside the closet? Yep. Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Hartwood. Okay. So, where are we now? What the hell? Is this like snow? It looks like snow. But we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time, we will continue onwards into this snowy... God knows what. It looks like a basement? Or a ship, maybe? I don't know. Yes, anyway, we'll continue onwards and see what else we can find and hopefully uh, fix Eddie up a little bit because he's looking kind of rough. <laughs> but until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves.